Hi vlog, very exciting day. I am on my way to shoot with my boss. Why am I out of breath? And I'm shooting semi-nude, fully nude, who knows how nude, with my boss. Sounds like it's creepy, it's not creepy at all. We agreed on this like a long time ago. I'm a grown ass woman. I'd be naked on the internet anyways. It's in part for Momotaro, in part for a showcase she's doing, um, centering queer folks. It's gonna be really exciting. Obviously I'm a little nervous, mostly nervous to model, but I thought I'd take this opportunity to talk about my relationship with my body and how that relates to my sex life. I do think part of my journey into becoming a sex educator had to do with the fact that, you know, I just love being naked the way that I was raised. Like a girl dominated household. Um, the women in the house were just often naked, like my mom, me. That was just like the norm. I mean, I maybe didn't love it at the time. Um, sometimes having sleepovers with people, my mom would just be like naked, be like awkward. But now that I'm older, I'm super grateful for it because I don't know, it just made it so that I'm more comfortable with my nude form. And that comfort was kind of taken away from me going to middle school and like getting dress coded all the time for things that like the white girls weren't getting dress coded for, the skinnier girls weren't getting dress coded for. Just being sexualized by predominantly teachers and staff, even though the boys in my grade weren't doing that, didn't see me in that in that sexual way. I mean, I was 12 and 13 years old, so it kind of fucked me up. And I think after I left middle school, I was just like, there's no dress code anymore, so fuck it, I'm just gonna be as nude as I possibly can be within the limits of US law. As sort of my own form of rebellion, and I think that shaped a lot of like how I dress now, my style now. Um, it's basically just wearing as little as possible at all times. Either that or like a giant fucking oversized sweater. I think a lot of people in quarantine are like unlearning a lot of their internalized fat phobia and I relate to that. I think during sex particularly, like I find myself sucking in my stomach or like trying to get into angles that I think are the most flattering. Also on Instagram. And so I'm trying to move away from that. It's kind of my concern going into this photo shoot, I guess, is that I won't have control over, you know, what angles my body is being captured in or necessarily what images are going to be used and I won't be able to face tune things. Not that I ever face tune my body, but there's no touch ups, there's no editing. It's just real and raw. And it's kind of pushing me outside of my comfort zone in a good way because I think I need to accept my body more in the way that it actually looks and less in the way that it can look at the right angle. And you know, I love more than anything and when people DM me or text me, just that the way that I dress, the way that I am, the way that I present myself inspires them to show a little bit more skin and be a little bit more comfortable with their, with their form. But like, it's a journey for me too. Like I'm not fully there by any means not like not like a set destination like some days are obviously going to be better than others anyways i'm at my boss's house we'll see how much behind the scenes footage i can get without being weird i also don't have any makeup on i don't even know if i brought like the clothes that i meant to bring. we've been trying to reach you concerning your car's extended warranty you should have received something in the mail about your Here we are quite a bit later. It's been a couple weeks. I am back in Cambridge. I bleached my hair. I have a shit ton of makeup on. I kind of look interesting. So far I have gotten one of the images back and I'm obsessed with it. 
and I'm really excited to see the rest. I was also surprised by how much my body looks like, how it looks when I take pictures of myself. I kind of wonder if it's possible to have body dysmorphia without feeling bad about it. Does that make sense? Like I don't by any means have any issues with my eating or anything, but I also constantly think that I am bigger than I actually am. And like we'll look back at like time periods where I thought I was really big and be like, oh, I literally look so small. And it's not like I was super bothered by the fact that I was really big. I just thought of myself as bigger than I actually was.